It is always a great pleasure having you back at my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're doing well. Please allow me to start the video by introducing to you Ameka, that is the Dubai Museum of the Future staff, an all-powered humanoid robot which interacts with visitors at the Futuristic Museum. Ameka is known to be the most advanced humanoid robot in the world. I know you already want to hear what she has to say and I caught a clip for you. Emotions are only limited to animals and humans, but I feel like I need another question. As we all know, the Museum of the Future welcomes people from all over the world. So while I was here, I found a lot of people and they were flooding her with questions, likes of who she is, when was she born, how many years does she have, how many years has she worked at the Museum of the Future, which other languages does she speak. She's so smart, she was able to answer all those questions. It was an overall wonderful experience with her. As we can see, these are other futuristic technology that shows uh, the part of the museum that aims to educate you about the power of technology in transforming the way we live through the exhibits showcased at level two of the Dubai Museum of the Future. This chapter also highlights how researchers, designers, and others are reacting to the technological advancements of the present time and how technology can be used to shape a better future. This is a sensory room and here the Museum of the Future arranged sensory rooms and activities that can soothe your mind by disconnecting you from technology. I was here and by the time I was done with all the sessions, I felt so relaxed. It is a journey worth taking, guys. <laughs> on to the Hill Institute. Here you will be welcomed with a view of futuristic Dubai, possibly in the 2071s and more. This view shows how Dubai will be in the near future. It has a garden that uses advanced augmented reality and virtual reality technology to give you a preview of genetically modified digital Amazon forest. You can expect to experience a real sounds and sights of the forest and thus experience the wonders of nature. The experience will teach you the after effects of the changing climatic conditions and how humans can rectify them. What you see here is a fire resistant tree and it is an, in the same section that you will find different plant species that are resistant to extreme climatic conditions.
clear, you just scan your wrist one and you will be able to experience more tests that are happening on that particular area. Hmm, hear the sound of a calm forest and the sound of the birds in the air. So refreshing, isn't it? Now we move on to the Vault of Life. It's the Hill Institute's DNA Vault, which is named the Library of Life. Here, you'll find more than 2,500 species locked in glass jars where you can see even the minute detail, which otherwise are hard to see. These glass jars are illuminated by some light, which makes the sight even more beautiful. Wow, look at them. Here, you will find both plants and animal kingdom species. Now we move on to the OSS Hop, where you will be taken to outer space, which is 600 kilometers above the Earth, and then to the OSS Hop station. The experience aims at highlighting the possibilities of human space travel in the future, and that includes a space shuttle, which is what you're seeing right now, an orbital space station, or you may call it OSS Hop, which gives you a journey to space. Here, you will experience what life in outer space is like by taking a ride to space. Astronaut Rebecca! <laughs> it includes a shuttle simulation with all the realistic sounds and processes followed during a real space shuttle takeoff. You will get to enjoy the aerial views of Dubai as well as outer space through the panels of the shuttle. just some of the other technologies we found at the Museum of the Future. This 
is the station command center so when you reach the oss hop station which is on the fifth floor of the museum you will enter the command center of the station here you take time to explore the missions undertaken by the station monitor the projects and so much more This is where you'll find a touch platform where you will be able to have more details about the projects that have been done at this station. All you will do is to scan your wristband and you will be able to access each project and get more details about the same. This is where you'll get to see the different planets we have and you will see the Venus, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Earth, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. It is beautiful and worth watching. Now we have reached the viewing deck. This floor also opens the door to some magnificent sights. The floor lets you enter the viewing deck, which takes you outside through the inner shell of the museum. The view from the deck is spectacular as you get to see the half curve of the museum as well as the views from there. We have come to the end of the video. I appreciate you for keeping up with me until the end. Please let me know that you passed by by leaving me a comment. It encourages me to carry on. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share with your family and friends and your other social media platforms. I will be happy to have you next time. To ensure that happens, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that when i have a new video you'll be able to know thank you so much until next time bye bye